Deep heat. Oh, they've clipped. Off, off. How he held on to that, I don't know. This is the biggest crash in RGL history. And he's out of control into the wall. Brace yourselves, this is going to be action packed. Hi everybody and welcome back to the RGL Forza Championships, it's been a large break in between rounds, this is round 9 of the development series, and moving up a gear once again as we move into the R2 category and we have the very awesome Sleek Radical. This machine is a very fragile but a brilliant car to drive. We, with the drivers finding it a little bit tricky, especially if you, especially with the rear wing, any damage to that, and you're in big trouble. It's the uh, R2 class car, starting PI of 869, only a little bit of room to move with uh, upgrades to 875, keeping the car in a stock a stock slash natural aspiration. It is rear wheel drive but it sounds wicked and on the track we're doing this round is the Bernese Alps Stadplatz track and because it's very open very fast it could mean a lot of drama as the drivers try to keep A away from each other and the walls going at high speed bridge doing the standard layout 4.96 kilometers and the bit where drivers are probably finding it a little bit tricky is when you head down the hill the turn as you enter that area brake will obviously cause a lot of drama for those behind but we'll just wait and see how the drivers react to each other different styles different lines along a lot of these turns because they are so wide let's check out the qualifying now with twisty corners once again leading the pack this time FCR Ninja for HD Motorsport has locked in the first row of the grid. Alcimo qualifying very strongly as was you watching. And Scavenger was always in the hunt during practice and he's managed to get himself one of his best qualifying positions yet. And he's on the same row as Gundam. Recall and Jake Moe round out the fourth row. And we are missing some drivers once again in this round, but Queensland Rum Runner is the only representation of APRT Queensland. He's leading the pack there with Brettley, a scratch lap, obviously couldn't get a clean lap in qualifying, so he'll start from the rear of the grid. About to get underway now. Listen to these cars when they get started. Three lights are on and they're out. Very good start. Ninja not doing too badly himself coming around the first turn now this is wide and hairy with all the drivers go through and pushing out wide they've got to watch out not to go too far to the right oh we've got that's Queensland Rum Runner he is stuck on the grid hopefully he can get that car going very soon and Ninja with a move into the lead very quickly got around twisty as they head down the hill and this is the corner to watch out for and Twisty holding on to the inside there. Ninja looking to go around on the outside. He's still ahead. And the pack sort of bunching up a little bit behind them. And Ninja sticking around the outside has managed to keep ahead of Twisty corners as they headed back up the hill. And this is a very quick, fast section. And now into the S's and around the sweeper, the final turn. Ooh, Twisty just going a little bit wide but managed to stay on the track. And someone else, I think that was Elsimo, up on the kerb. He's going to lose some places. You're watching into third. And it's all very tight up here at the front end. And there's Queensland Rum Runner still on the track, parked. And now we're on board with Ninja. He's gone a little bit deep under brakes into turn one. Twisty looking for a way in. Brentley with the fastest lap. He started from the back of the pack. So he's on the prowl, Twisty and right up in behind Ninja now on board with him now. Oh, a little bit of contact. 
don't want mu too much more than that anymore and you start to affect the arrow so it's got a replay and this is Catters over the bridge and he's just lost control of that oh big hit from Alsimo that is just about Catters race done and dusted that would have put significant damage to his arrow and Alsimo would have suffered a fair bit of damage as well meanwhile we still have Ninja in ahead of Twisty followed by Yawatchen can't quite get a glimpse of who's behind him at the moment lap 2 of 12 this is crazy stuff lightning quick around this track Twisty looking for an outside move and he's got it that was very skillful driving all the way around the outside maintaining that line Ninja not having much of that he's going back for another div this is excellent racing and Ninja just sliding out a little bit as he exits that corner and Twisty no doubt with a faster slap after securing the lead back from Ninja but he's all over the back of him as they start to head down the hill and now back on board with Twisty whoa that's something you don't see every day that is you watching on his side all the way down the hill we will have to get a replay of that hopefully very quickly you watch and just dropped a bunch of spots not sure how much damage he's caught from that but sideways down the hill on board with scavenger and there goes you watching and Jake Mo trying to dodge you watching he's made a meal of it as well and he's rolled big crash so that's another two drivers with damage this is going to be a race of attrition Meanwhile, Twisty is out in front with Ninja pitting by the look of that. And another fastest lap for the leader. And he's just gone wide, tapping that wall a little bit. Can't quite make out whether or not uh, Gunnam's, uh, sorry, Ninja's dropped off of Twisty or whether he went into the pit lane. We'll hopefully get a leaderboard up soon and that should answer our question and here it is and you just see there so Ninja is still in second oh just a little bit wide now Brentley's on the attack for him so Ninja had had just dropped back from Twisty Twisty getting a bit of a lead Brentley on the inside going along the bridge here he's got that move done so leaderboard will now be a little bit out of whack there so Brentley's up nine places he is just marching through his field obviously a lot of damage to some of the guys at the back end who have pitted and you can see there Alsimo Catters and Rum Runner way back so I think we've only got about five or six drivers still on the lead lap as Brentley is starting to make a charge towards Twisty Corners now and once again these two are going to battle it out and you can see there now Brentley's got the pace and he has got the momentum can Twisty just sort of keep it keep him at bay keep him keep his rhythm going and just eyes forward or will Brentley put enough pressure on him to make a pass down the hill they go for the fifth time and don't these cars just sound absolutely awesome should be able to get ourselves a, a ride in one you'll be able to really hear how wicked these cars actually are and Bradley's starting to head up the hill now we're on board with him it's a bit of a climb and depending on how the drivers have set their car up uh, there's not much acceleration through there until you get to this point where you start to drop away a little bit and then through the big sweep in final turn over the bridge which crosses turns two and three pit lane there on your left hand side and Brettley way out now I think Ninja's probably opted to pit after losing that position try and reset himself but Twisty he's got the fastest lap so he's doing the job a 1.12.481 very quick let's just listen in to Brettley as he makes all right his way around the track
now on board with you watching and else so that is uh, that was great to watch and you can see quite a few drivers as they made their way through just pulling right out of the road uh, their race is almost done and dusted just trying to circulate around and hopefully finish in time so they don't get a DNF but meanwhile Twisty beating his previous lap time again and also all over the back of you watching now and this is a fight and this is the fight for 7th position at the moment and oh whoa big contact twisty he's been hit by his own teammate you're watching into the wall whoa that is a big thing look at this now Bradley all over the back of twisty he's lost momentum going up the hill and he's probably copped a little bit of damage when he got clipped by his teammate oh he's a bit loose and Twisty, he's spun out, he's in the wall. The complexion, and there goes Scavenger, the complexion of this race has just changed in half a lap. Not sure what happened there. Let's have a look and see if we can tell. This is on board with Twisty. There's your watching. And he's moving out of the road. And he started breaking. There's Jake Mo on his roof. Just past you watching you watching was moving over to allow twisty through and coming around the corner he was blindsided hasn't seen Jake Mo there this is you watching so pulling over and then he's seen the car trying to break he's lost control so that is a very unfortunate event and you watching is his car is damaged big time he was probably looking at least a fourth or even a third position with this until that happened and another driver has been claimed to damage we haven't got many cars still 100% intact by the look of it and Elsimo now he's he's just patiently patiently sitting behind you watching looking for a nice clean move trying to look down the inside here but I don't think he's got enough speed on the exit you watching still has position over him but I think it's only a matter of time before Elsimo gets the pass done and you can see a scavenger into second place Gundam into third FCR Ninja is in second and then Twisty after that very unfortunate moment has found himself damaged and in fifth position meanwhile Jake Mo and Catter's Rummer are still at the back end of the field Jake Mo we saw on his roof which caused you watching to lose control of his car clipping his teammate and now Brettley into the lead from last position what a story he's managed to stay out of trouble and he wasn't too close to see. oh here we go Elsimo on the inside of you watching he looks to have this done but you watch going to fight him every way and he's sticking with him side by side and you're watching still keeps the position oh there's Alcimo now he's got oh you're watching go very wide bang into the wall not quite sure I think Alcimo may have moved out of the road for Gundam here and this is the fight for second and third place Scavenger coming out of the pit lane any second now. This is going to be very close with Gundam 27. Both of them looking to get one of their best results of the season. And Gundam coming down the outside. Oh, he's overshot it. He's braked a little bit too deep. Just gone wide. You'll see there he just re-enters the track now. Then he's really pushing hard to try and get a good move in on Scavenger as he exited pit lane. Not to be, but if he st sticks with him, he's every chance to get that position. As they head down the hill, we'll get a good idea probably by the end of this lap whether or not Gundam's got the pace to stick with Scavenger. And these guys, the nerves will be pretty high. They haven't been in this sort of position much at all this season, so they'll want to really nail, nail their race and get a good 
finish for their team and themselves and Brettley in with the fastest lap almost into the 111s with that one so he's just powering along I don't think anyone's going to touch him from here unless he makes a mistake and after what we've seen anything is possible with this as the drivers just get past one of the damaged back markers there's quite a few of them around the track but they're doing a pretty good job to stay out of the road of these lead drivers and look at this gun I'm catching right up onto scavenger so scavenger is really going to start to feel the pressure now he's just got to keep his cool but Gundam is going to throw everything at this and down the hill once again and you can just see how much closer he's got to scavenger for the screwdrivers racing team oh and he's gone wide no big moment and he's just managed to stop himself from hitting the wall which is a good thing back on track but he has lost that position how demoralizing there's only another lap and a bit to go he didn't have to hold on for too much longer so he's going to be very disappointed himself on board with Gunham just looking back there you can see scavenger starting to climb the hill a few seconds behind him but Gundam he's stuck with it as well staying out of danger keeping the car pointing in the right direction on the track and he is looking for a very good result here's Brettley exiting pit lane now very comfortably ahead of Gundam 27 and Scavenger question is can Scavenger get back at Gundam has he got enough time Meanwhile, Brettley looking for yet another win in the development series. His next closest rival is Recoil, and this will definitely eat a chunk of points out of the lead Recoil has in second place in the standings. Twisty's a little bit too far ahead to be touched, even, even though he's going to get a pretty bad result by his standards with this race. he's still got a very significant lead going into the final round and coming around to for the last time into the sweeper and back onto the straight over the bridge Brettley has shown it can be done from last place to first sticking that car where it needs to be and that is out of trouble when it came to these radicals on the Bernese Alps well done to Brett Lee for that win. Gundam just ahead of Scavenger got second and Scavenger as you can see they're third so those two both with one of their best results of the season both on the podium along with Brett Lee. Congratulations to all those drivers. What a race, a lot of drama. You got your watching going down that hill on the side of it, on his in his car sideways on its side. It was a pretty amazing sight and looking at that four DNFs in the end and El Samo and Ninja just scraping in there towards the end to pick up some points. So out of 11 drivers only 7 finished and let's have a look at what that does to the standings and as you can see there 50 points separates Recoil and Brentley for third and or for second and El Samo has lost a lot of points to Brentley now so the challenge to get third place in the championships is probably going to be very difficult from here Meanwhile, Catters, after climbing up the standings, has dropped right back after a couple of bad turnouts in the development series. Meanwhile, Scavenger and Gundam are starting to move up as well with some good results. That is round nine. Thank you very much for watching, and we will see you for the final round of 2013 very soon. Thank you. Goodbye.